Welcome back guys. We have worked four months to present you this video. Today you will recognize the robot as it is for the first time. We will move it with our own software, finish the cable management and enclosure and mill a ton of parts including the gear housing of Joint 2 which will produce the most chips I've ever had in a single job on this CNC machine and hope you enjoy the video. The four threads to hold the stepper motor here were perfect to mount the part on our fixture plate for the second operation. At first we were afraid that the setup wasn't rigid enough, but the plate is so thick that we had no problems with vibrations or chatter or anything like that. Here we are using the full 19 millimeters of cutting edge length. Always fascinating how capable the CNC router is, but check for yourself. Now you can see some milling of the cycloidal's eccentric shaft. However, the camera died, that's why it stops after op 1. It was then time for the two small cycloidal discs for joint 5 to also achieve very low backlash.
Joint 5 is the only one without a direct drive motor concept. It uses a belt. So we have this aluminum rod that connects the belt pulley and the eccentric shaft. Here you can see the milling of Joint 5's output. I also told you in the last video that we will mill this soon from metal and here we are. And then it was time for three days of wiring everything up and then rewiring everything again because I didn't like it. You know how this goes. And now the big moment to see if everything blows up. Yeah, okay, it's um from Wenn der Tisch halt nicht so wackeln würde. <laughs> we still need to tune in some motions with the stepper motors in our software and also in the next video we will mount this gripper and actually do something with the robot so I would be very happy to see you there again and thank you so much for your time.